Clark. Welcome. It's the 29th of June, 2023. This is Documentation Office Hours. Uh, topics for today, Google Summer of Code, administering Jenkins on Kubernetes. And if those were the only two things we got to, I would be fine with that. I think the other topics, I have to forewarn, I'll be out of an out of the office topic. Others, I think, can wait. Anything that you need to add, Bruno? No, thank you, Mark. Okay, so on Google Summer of Code. So let's see, we've got the preview site and it continues to evolve and develop. And we're looking forward to a presentation from Vandit next week, July 6th, that will highlight the progress that's been made. So looking forward to that. And if I remember correctly, I think he's now integrated the uh, screenshots into it. So it looks, this looks very much like the documentation I was expecting. Yes, and there was a problem with the link between articles or things like that, I think, but he has solved that also. Great. It's looking more and more like the official website. Cool. Good. All right. Congratulations, Devandi. That's that's great progress. And then you've got, you're mentoring the Docker Compose process project with Ashutosh. Anything you want to highlight there, Bruno? Uh, yes, we're almost done with um, uh, Java Maven tutorial, and I don't want to sound too enthusiastic, but it should be, the tutorial should be much, much smaller than the existing one, and much simpler without Docker in Docker, uh, <laughs> which is a good thing for various reasons. Uh, we'll see that uh, on next Thursday, I hope the demo goes well, and I'm even trying to uh, run it onto Raspberry Pi. I'll let you know if ever that works. But yes, I know it doesn't work for Windows users yet, but we'll think of Windows users. We do have to do that, but it will be after the first midterm. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Well, so so is is the demonstration that he's prepping already on one of these, or is it on a... Oh, it's yes, the, it's featured in the even tutorial. I should merge it later today or maybe tomorrow, but I've just tested it with Gitpod a few minutes ago and it was working for me. There are still some uh, hiccups here and there. It's not perfectly polished, uh, but it's doing good work nonetheless. I may have gone a little too far with automation, um, but we'll see. You know, I thought that it was too uh, difficult to ask to the end user to go to GitHub, fork a repo, and then clone it locally. So I did it with a script. But frankly, I think I went too far. Um, anyhow, it's almost running perfectly. Hope it will uh, work correctly for the next uh, Thursday demo. But we're progressing well. We're happy with that. Thank you. Very good. So, so just to, to remind me, that means what you're looking at is you've got a, a, a better way of doing this thing here, where it's the tutorial, build a Java app with Maven, yes, instead of this terrible darkness yeah. of this long explanation of detailed, here's this dark parameter and this terrible evil thing happening here and there, <laughs> you're going to give us something much, much simpler. Or he's For the going time to give being, us something. Yes, it's just a Jenkins init.sh uh, and Maven, and it just works. But I know we're excluding Windows users, which is bad. So in the end, what I end up, what we will end up, uh, hopefully, is just Docker Compose up minus minus build for just every platform, and it should work. Excellent. Thank you. That is, that is, that is very attractive. Thank you very much. Just. Okay, this this horror being <laughs> replaced by a single command yeah, sounds very, goal. very nice. <laughs> Thank you to Ashutosh for his hard work. Great, excellent. All right, so the Docker Compose project making great progress. Anything else you want to share on that project? No, thank you, Mark. Okay, so next topic was one where I think it's it's a, a group exercise for us to review this. Uh, Tanu Sharma submitted a very solid pull request a month or two ago to the documentation and is now proposing a new pull request. This one is a much bigger, how do we do administering Jenkins on Kubernetes? So 
what he notes is that, hey, Jenkins on Kubernetes has no content, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. right? So administering Jenkins on Kubernetes is empty. Oopsie. And, <laughs> and well, that, it just means nobody's written that, that page, right? And so what Anuj is proposing is here's the high level overview that he thinks should be added. And I think let's, um, so he asked three days ago, hey, we've got, we know that Hervé and Stefan and Damien are the Kubernetes experts in, in the Jenkins infra team. And so what he's suggesting is here is his outline. Let's look at it in, in the deployed environment so we can just see kind of the picture that he's envisioning. Mm -hmm. So if we go to documentation and this was administering Jenkins, so it's a part of the sysadmin. Okay, system administration, this. So this is what he was envisioning. Oh, okay. And for me, this looking at it this way is a lot easier than looking at the ASCII doc. Oh, so no, introduction and overview. All right, we don't need the trailing colon, so I can guide him on that. Yeah architecture and components, installation and configuration, scalability. Okay, and there isn't a high availability solution. So fault tolerance, that, that's, that's a possible. Security and access control, config management. Yes. Wow. Okay, so the, the outline looks brilliant to me. I like that outline a lot. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to help, but for the time being, uh, I can help with, you know, getting more content, but I'd be happy to test it whenever something is ready. Well, and review, you know, and, and I think it's worth us doing a doing, doing, exploring along while, while this is being developed, right? While it's evolving, mm -hmm. it would be great for us to be involved in the evolution. I monitor That's, that. Yeah, right. Exactly. So. So here I'm going to take, I'm going to actually take some time and I'm going to make some touch-ups. Oh, oh, wait a sec. Okay. So this is a mistake. Okay. There, there are a number of mistakes here that I can correct. Good. We don't use three levels of indentation. We use one or two yeah. in this case, two, not one. So that, and we needed to, okay. So I'll and need to do that book. separately, not mm -hmm. not as part of doing that live here. There's there's more to it than that. But this is an easy one for us to be involved in, uh, at least yeah. as readers. I'm not skilled enough to be a reviewer, but the, am I. The, the structure looks really good. To me too. Okay, good. So I'm going to make a note here. We reviewed the proposed structure structure in docs office hours and feel that and like it like it a lot very much we'll provide some minor suggestions on ASCII doc format later. Yep. Great. Anything else to note on, on the uh, administering Jenkins on Kubernetes? No, except that I'm super happy for this brilliant initiative. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thrilled with, with uh, Anuja's willingness to do the work. That's really great. Okay. All right, good. So that covered that covered that topic, we've got one more open pull request. Thanks to Jeffrey Chen. Um, Jeffrey's work has given us ultimately two pull requests one of them has merged this one is already in the documentation now merged and and visible and this one is a best practices document that needs more content 
and and I'm really I'm not ready to merge it yet because there are, if if I'm going to be so bold as to claim that we should have such a thing as best practices, I want them to be reviewed by people who agree. Yes, that that makes sense as calling it a best best practice. Got it. So thanks to Jeffrey for starting the work, and we've got more work to do. I haven't seen any reviews from Jeffrey on on my changes. Yeah, so so there's there's more work to be done there. All right. Any other questions or topics on the wiki migration progress that Jeffrey's been doing? No, I know that is tedious work, but um, no, I will just <laughs> review the second one whenever I have time. And thanks for Jeffrey to be so consistent with the effort. Great. And then you had this draft PR on keeping the update see how the examples up to date i assume that that's not received any further attention that it's no, it's a concept even not from myself uh, <laughs> so no i haven't progressed yet uh, i was waiting for the next version of update CLI who was supposed to correct uh thumb bugs i had with the ruby releases which is now the case so i should spend a little time on this one and try to get it merged if that makes sense for all the community and the project okay so a new release of update cli resolves issues detected earlier in the earlier yep. experiment yep i say issue but it's more of a limitation because ruby did something not really right with the way they handled the releases and the tags so that's why all right Okay, thank you. And then this one, I'd like to delay again until Kevin's yeah, available, course. because we've got we've got this issue that gives us some a checklist of items that need to be touched. And I mm -hmm. think we may want to touch them one at a time, probably starting with installing Linux, and then installing Windows, and then we talk about the others, what order should they be in. All right. That covered, and I will be out of the office. This is early warning. I'll be out of the office July 20th. So if Kevin's not available, we'll have to cancel the meeting. Yep. But if Kevin's available, he'll run the meeting. Okay, and I'd be happy to attend the meeting. Great, thank you. Any other topics, Bruno? I don't have any. Thank you, Mark. All right, thanks.